Oh, hi there. Welcome to night number three of the 11 Nights of Halloween. You know, I gotta confess that I'm actually not that good at video games, but I learned a trick. Find a video of someone that plays a game really well, then stand in front of your TV and hit the controller really fast like this, and it almost feels like you're kicking butt at a game, even if you're like me and you basically suck. Tonight's story deals with a video game of a different sort. One that serves as a bit of a reminder that after playing for a very long time, you should probably just turn the game off. Enjoy. I've grown sick of games. Honestly, they're all the same. First they have you steal a car or a van in broad daylight, drive recklessly around the city, plowing into parking meters, driving into oncoming traffic and racing to some far-off destination. You park in an alley or some place that might otherwise be inconspicuous if you hadn't already tore up 15 city blocks just moments earlier. There's always a quick rundown of what you need to do next, and it always involves a group of people that turn out to be completely useless once your wanted level goes up and you're being pursued by the police. And there I was, playing another one of those repetitive missions with two guys in the back seat of the car carrying machine guns and talking in gangster film cliches while I cycled through radio stations to find an appropriate driving song. I could already predict how this was going to turn out. They'd either get cornered during the robbery and take about a million bullets from some overzealous SWAT officers, or they'd end up pulling a double cross on the group so they didn't need to split the money. Either way, they'd both be dead before they got back to the getaway car. As I said, these games are always the same. Completely predictable. I park in front of the biggest jewelry store in the city, hear the pop of the smoke grenades and flashbangs, and the busting of glass as rifle butts break open the display cabinets. The timer says 45 seconds, so I start revving the engine in anticipation of the getaway I'd need to be making. Can't leave without the others. After all, I can already tell you that somebody inside just happened to trip the alarm, and that SWAT will be storming the building with one of those big tank things that just happened to smack into the other getaway vehicles. You know, the ones that are fast and have good handling? Not like the slow grandpa car they forced me to take at the start of the mission. And here come the cops. And there go the two guys whose names I already forgot. Eh, told you they'd die. The rest of the group piled into the car and now I was being screamed at to drive to the hideout while trying to lose the cops in a car that barely goes highway speed. I drove through a construction site because why not? And probably ran over at least five people as a hail of bullets was exchanged between the guys in bad guy ski masks and the SWAT guys that, for whatever reason, also happen to be in ski masks. We get back out on the road and the guys in my car manage to land maybe one out of every 50th shot on the SWAT tank, while the other 49 shots tear through pedestrians, storefront windows, and every other car we encounter on the street. I turn onto the highway and it's the same cliched construction of the cloverleaf that just isn't connected, but I know I need to jump. I give the car full acceleration and make the jump, just as everything goes into slow motion and the tank behind us comes to a screeching halt, just at the edge of the unfinished highway. I landed with a thud on the road below, and somehow the car is still drivable, as impossible as that should be. I pulled off the road and made my way on back streets and alleyways to the hideout. I parked the car in the garage, and everybody got out to divide the take. Well, everybody except me, and the guy in the front seat next to me. Nicely done, he said as he pulled up his ski mask. Just kill me, I said. I looked down at the handcuffs on my wrists. I was bleeding from them cutting me. Get some sleep, he said before slamming the door shut. These games are always the same. I've grown sick of playing them. <laughs>